Hi, I'm NASA astronaut Katie Coleman, Expedition 26 and 27, and welcome to the International Space Station. It's a place where we do science every single day. It's great. Well, down on the Earth, there's a lot of curious kids, and some of them have designed some very interesting experiments for us to do up here on the space station. Today's experiment is called Pondering the Pendulum, and it's designed by three middle school students at Key Peninsula Middle School, and they are Brett, Corey, and Jimmy. And their experiment, or their hypothesis was, well, what happens to a pendulum when it's up in space? And so they gave me some very specific directions. I had a procedure where I needed to collect some materials from here on the space station and build a platform for a pendulum. And my pendulum, as designed by Brett, Corey, and Jimmy, is, uh, is actually a stand of pencils that are duct taped to our table. You notice here in microgravity, our table is not horizontal. It just doesn't have to be because things aren't going to roll off our table anymore if it's horizontal or if it's vertical. They're actually just not going to stick unless we tape them down or maybe use Velcro, like I Velcroed our, our timer here. So here's our pendulum, and it's a rectangular platform, and the pendulum itself is this eraser, and I'm going to wrap it around yeah, a couple times there because they were specific that they wanted to make sure that it hung down about four centimeters. So let's see how that's going to work out there. One, two, three, four. Yeah, maybe I'll take one wrap out there. Well, it's kind of in between. So tell you what, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll leave it kind of low. Okay, so my pendulum is two centimeters above there. And I wanted to understand uh, the laws of motion and how things act up here in space. And, and we're thinking about a couple things. One is that any object is, um, is going to stay in motion once you put it in motion, or it's going to stay at rest if you put it at rest. Now, one way that we see this every day on the space station is when we're trying to do things like eat. Okay, so here's my uh, almonds and pistachios, and I can make my pistachio or my can of pistachios be at rest, and then it's going to pretty much stay there. There we go. That's my commander, Demo. It's going to pretty much stay there until I actually give it another kind of motion, and then it's just going to be in motion. Same thing with these guys here. It's just going to stay there until I take care of it. Look at this guy. He feels some air currents. He's kind of in one place. And then watch this. What Corey, Brett, and Jimmy proposed was building this pendulum. And our pendulum itself is this eraser here. And the instructions are, I've got my procedure up here, to don goggles if I feel like I need them. Don't need them in this case. I'm going to place the eraser so that the dental floss is taut and the, it's, the eraser is directly above the flat surface there. I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to give it a little tap with my finger. Let's see, I guess I'll go like this and tap it with my finger. And what we're trying to figure out is what happens to the eraser. Is it going to be like a regular pendulum where it goes, you know, up, comes to this side, and then gravity pulls it down again, and then comes to this side and gravity pulls it down. Well, up here in space without that gravity, what's going to happen? Well, we are going to find out. So we pull the string taut, and I'm going to give it a tap. Let's see if I can do this this way, and we're going to see what happens. Three, and I'm also going to, I'm going to start a timer. I'm going to start at five seconds ahead so I know that it's started. Three, two, one, here's timer. Two, three, four, five. Whoa, interesting. So the question is, how long will it take to come to rest? Well, rest means not moving. And it's just continuing to move. It's been about 15 seconds now. And what happened on the ground was their pendulum went for about 45 seconds back and forth and back and forth. And the, their theory was that our pendulum up in space would actually just continue to go around and around, but 
as my fellow expedition member, Ron, is going to show you with the camera, what's happening here is when we tap the pendulum, it goes like this, and it does want to keep going, 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 but it runs into this leg of our stand, and then this part keeps going, 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 and then this one, and then it bounced back. Let's, let's try it again and see what it does. So, in some ways, we're not really getting to answer our question with the structure that we have built. Three, two, one, bonk. And now it's, it's reacting to the motions that it already did, and now it's going back around. And I'm not timing it since it's not sort of the continuous motion that we, that we talked about um, maybe getting. But here's, here's my idea is let's make this into, if, if we didn't have these legs here of our pendulum, let's say that there was just the bar across the top, I'm thinking that, that, that Corey and Jimmy and Brett are right, and that, you know, I'm tearing this apart here, um, that our pendulum would just keep going. We use duct tape a lot up here on the space station, and it's very, very strong. Okay, as long as I get him out of the way, it'll be good. And this one, too. Now, another interesting thing about being up here in space is that things don't have to be sort of so as structurally strong in the same kind of way as they do down on the Earth. You know, and when in doubt, we use our most important space tool. We use our scissors. And so because it, there's not gravity that might make our pendulum stand come down, we are able to maybe make a less stable pendulum stand here. Let's see, did I want to do that? Yeah, I just wanted to get this guy off of here. Okay. And still enough duct tape to let this guy behave. There we go. And Ron built our pendulum stand here. Ron Guerin. When <laughs> and right now you don't see him because he's behind the camera. But if he didn't build this pendulum stand for you, we wouldn't get to demonstrate your experiment because we're getting towards the end of our expedition and it's pretty busy, so there's not a lot of time. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Almost. Okay. So we still have the same shape pendulum stand that um, my friends at Key Peninsula Middle School proposed, but now we're not going to have anything interfering with the motion of our pendulum. So, ready? Let's start our timer again. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to count up. So, three, two, one. Oh, look at this. Ah. Now, when the string ran out, now it starts going in the opposite direction. So it was con continuing to go in one direction. Once an object is in motion, it's going to continue going in motion until another force acts on it. Now on Earth, our pendulum goes up and gravity acts on it as well as friction and causes it to come back and slow down and then up and back. Let's try that again. So that was about, I'd say, 25 seconds. Let's try it again and see what happens. Okay, we're going to... Start it down here. It's about two centimeters. I'll tell you what, I'll do one wind on here. This is more like the, a little more than the four centimeters that they called for in their procedure. Okay, so here we go. Let's say three, two, one. So it winds up and then it ends up it receives a force when it bangs into itself on the pencil there. So now the equal force is actually forcing it back. And I would say that the, the string, when, when there was a lot of force there, the string remained pretty taut. 
And now, now we've kind of run out of gas and now it's just really floating around. There's 24 seconds. So pretty cool. Well, let's try one more um, variation, which is what if our string didn't keep winding up on itself? What if it would just keep going around and around and around? Now, this isn't a perfect um, string here, but I think it's enough to show us what it might do. Let's make sure it's not too long. So you gotta hit the floor. Let's see. Well, we'll see. We'll see, our string might be a little bit too long. I might have to tie it up. So. Okay, start at zero. Three, two, one. Look at that. So our string is remaining taut. And it's slowing down a little bit there. And now you see it's not even quite enough force to be pulling our knot around. And that's probably because of the friction of our, of our dental floss on the, on the pencil there. But more of that continuous motion that was hypothesized by um, Corey, Brett, and Jimmy. So I think, oh, look at this. I think that they were really on the money. And that is that a pendulum in space is gonna act differently than a pendulum down on the ground. And it's gonna be because of good old Mr. Newton in his first law of motion, that an object when set into motion is gonna stay in motion until it meets, it, meets another force, and then it's gonna change its motion.